Hi guys, hope everyone's good. Uh, just an update again, this is my self-shaped board number four, and I just finished sanding it, so I thought I'd have a bit of a bit of a look over and a review to show everyone uh, before I wax it up and hopefully get to have a surf next week, because we're just dropped from uh, level four to level three next week, so surfing possibly back on the cards, hopefully, so hopefully we see some waves. Uh, in the background, I'm just gonna leave a little bit of eye candy. This is uh, my friend and fantastic local artist, Mark Waddleton. Uh, he sprayed this second board up for me. That's my little uh, 511 gravel board for me. And uh, he's done this amazing uh, Poseidon picture on it and that's all done with airbrush so uh, yeah I just thought I'd leave that in the background as a bit of eye candy uh, he's an amazing guy if you want to lock him up he's uh, Mark Waddleton and you'll find his Instagram and he does some amazing artwork so yeah it's uh, if you get if you get five minutes check him out he's a really cool guy and uh, yeah just super talented very grateful for him doing that work so that's looking good upcoming so uh, here we go into my into my shape shape number four uh, this one is a dedicated single fin and the intention behind the design was to try and make a dedicated single fin that would still work in a fairly average wave. Uh, so the design elements were, I intended on keeping it at the longer end of what I would class as still a short board or a shorter board. So the length ended up 6.5 and then width wise I didn't want to get super wide but it's all about trying to keep some glide glide and cruisiness and smaller wave ability whilst narrow enough to still work as a single fin because I really don't think uh, a big fat wide tail and a single fin is really a good combination. Uh, so yeah, 6'5", 21 and 3 eighths, so like 21 and a half near enough. And then it's kind of like two and three quarters, two and seven eighths in thickness. Uh, and what I've tried to do is, again, I tried to keep a reasonably full outline up front it's almost like a it's almost like a slightly slightly elongated fish nose and then the back end sort of becomes more of a more of a subtle curve like a long a long straight line is what i was trying to achieve through this back end and kind of thin it out and then the diamond tail and i'm kind of hoping that'll give me a good balance of uh you know, wave catching and get up and go in an, in a reasonably, you know, in a pretty average wave and uh, still give you that single fin shortboard feeling. So that was the intention. Hopefully it's come out all right. As you can see, I've gone uh, fairly flat rocker and we've got bevel rails. And what I've done is I've kept a real beaky, so you see like the beaky nose there and the bevel, bevel rails. And then coming out to the tail, we've just there. Uh, we just narrowed it down and finished those bevels off and gone into gone into a diamond basically. Uh, then on the bottom, it's a single concave, so single single through here, and then it starts becoming a double from about here back. And uh, it was intended to be a double with V, but uh, it was really subtle, so some of the V's not it's not as it's not really as present anymore. Now I've glassed it, but there's definitely some double and V just running through that back fin box. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, I just did a spray myself, just a spray on the blank. Uh, decided to do the English flag, obviously being English. Uh, some people were like, oh, you're selling that board. Like it's got the English English flag on it. It's like, nah, it's all right, it's for me, I'm English. <laughs> so, so yeah, kind of funny. And then uh, I quite like the idea of the Phoenix as well. So I managed to find a little Phoenix stencil and just stencil that on. So kind of hoping it looks all right. It's, uh, it's a bit different, but yeah, it's quite nice to do something different. Uh, yeah, so it's come out pretty well. The glassing went pretty good this time. Uh, you know, there's always little bits that you think, oh, I could have just done that a little bit better. But at the same time, uh, you get a bit better each board. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the shape and look and really pleased with this kind of, you know, really pleased with this like, kind of, I suppose you could call it like a coffin kind of outline with a with a beveled rail. And then uh, I think the foiling and keeping all that chunky thickness. And then, you know, the deck's like, the deck's super, the deck's crazy flat. So that's really good. I took the deck, like the deck's virtually flat. So that's, uh, yeah, I think that worked out quite well. So, yeah, I mean that's about it, really. Just uh, thought I'd give you guys a bit of something to keep you keep your uh, keep you looking whilst you're probably bored at the minute, maybe. Uh, yeah, then I've got the 
some more shapes coming up, but they're gonna be a wee while before I get to glass them. I've got that short board, the little wingtail short board, I've got a long board going and I've got the 710 to glass. So uh, hopefully over the next sort of eight weeks or something, there might be some, some new, uh, new boards trickling in that I've shaped myself. And uh, when Tommy Dalton gets back to work, I've already got that Lost Hydra pre-ordered. So back to, uh, we'll also have a review on the Lost Hydra for you. So back for a, back to a normal shapers board. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys, hope you're keeping well. And uh, thanks for everybody that's been uh, kind and positive and, and enthusiastic and encouraging with the shaping and all the people that have been talking to me online and uh, yeah, been helping a few people out with board choices and stuff. So uh, yeah, good to talk to you guys and thanks for all your uh, positive feedback and support, much appreciated. And I don't usually say it, I always forget to say, please like and subscribe if you do. <laughs> yeah. All right, cheers guys, see ya.